Hey guys! So today's video is kind of a Q&A style video about print and cut. Now print and cut is one of those things that cause a lot of confusion for a lot of people and it's mainly because there's several steps involved but today I'm just going to be answering some questions that you guys had specifically about the print and cut features and I'm not going to be making a project. I may make a print and cut project next week to take you through the whole process from start to finish. But today I'm just going to focus on certain questions that I've received over the last couple of weeks. So the first one is, how do I actually find print and cut images? Now, if you visit the Silhouette store, there is actually a link at the bottom of the page now that says printables. And if you select it, all the printables in the library will appear. Now, this question probably came up because before it wasn't this simple. And also, some of the print and cut files weren't well marked. And that was with this P right here. What would happen sometimes is people would buy images thinking that they were regular cut files and they were actually print and cut because they didn't have this P. Now, it didn't happen that often, but every blue moon you would find a file that was like that. The situation with that seems to have been corrected. Um, I haven't really found a lot of errors in terms of print and cut files not being labeled like you used to in the in what I refer to as the olden days of Silhouette. But that is how you find print and cut files. Once you have printable selected, you can go to the top search menu and search these options. Now the next question that I've gotten over the last couple of weeks is how do you turn on registration marks? People have found the designs in the Silhouette store, but they don't know how to turn the registration marks on or how to change the page size. So registration marks are actually found in this top right hand corner. If you hover your mouse over the button, you'll see it says open the registration marks window. So if you select it, you'll have a drop down menu with registration marks and you can turn them off or you can set them to a cameo portrait or the original SD. Now different machines actually do use different style registration marks. So I have a silhouette cameo, so I would select this one and you can do it the default way or inverted. You can also restore the defaults. Now, if you have a hard time getting your cameo or your portrait to, to register the marks, you may need to make these lines thicker or thinner. So usually I find that the default works and when the default doesn't work, usually this restore defaults makes the lines a little different and that works as well. Now, most people also do not have a 12 by 12 printer. And as you can see, the registration marks have appeared on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. If you're in the situation where you need the images or the registration marks to appear on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, you just go up to this menu option here that says design page settings and drop down this menu here and you can change it to either your current printer, which should default to whatever the largest size is it will print, which is usually eight and a half by 11, or you can actually select the letter option. Now the third question is about modifying designs that you find in the Silhouette store. Print and cut designs can be modified the same way as regular designs and what you do is you select them as usual, you right click with your mouse and you ungroup. And as you ungroup the images you'll see boxes appear around each image and now you can go and select each one of these things separately and make them larger or bigger depending on what you prefer your project needs are. The same thing goes for the outside shape. If you want this cut line to actually be larger, you can just select it and then recenter it on your project. So for example, if you wanted this to have a white border, you could resize it to the size you wanted it to be and then recenter it appropriately. So that's all I have for you guys today about print and cut. Let me know if you have any questions and you can leave them in the description, or excuse me, you can leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.